welcome. <laughs> Thank so you. So excited to have you here. Yeah. Um, for those who don't know, this is Raya. Hi. Um, she is our artist for the next couple months inside the shop. Um, can, you, can you kind of just tell us a little bit about like, what do you primarily make and why do you make it? You know, yeah. like, what, what's the motivation? How did you get started painting? Ooh, okay. Well, I mostly do acrylic, okay. paint with acrylic on reclaimed wood. I salvage stuff just around the city. Yeah. And um, add little tidbits of things, gold leaf, dried flowers, different texture things. And how did I get into it? Well, I guess like, so Was when that you're the painting, question? Yeah, yeah, no. Okay. So, so when you're painting, <laughs> Um, or when you're creating one of these, like what, what's motivating you? you know, uh, what are you like, yes. oh, this is getting me so excited. Like, why do you get excited to do it? I guess maybe that's a better way to say it. Mostly I do intuitive painting. Okay. So basically there's no plan. I'll just pick a piece, like a, a piece of wood that kind of feels right. And then there might be, I'll like sit down. I'm usually dancing around my studio for a while and I'll just get an idea for a color scheme, okay. like a feeling, and I'll just start making shapes. And I just go with like, I just go with the feeling and I kind sure. of follow it. Sure. And I would say it's very much inspired by emotional stuff I'm working through at the time. Mm -hmm. So like there's a lot of personal process and joy and struggle knit into every piece yeah because it's just like a reflection of stuff that i'm working on at the time That's awesome. That's <laughs> and, and then a lot of times i don't even realize until after the fact like what the painting is about sure sure it just kind of like yeah. finds its way out yeah that's amazing and, and then it's all it on like reclaimed me. wood yes you said. cool yeah. is there there's one canvas painting in there there is one canvas painting okay. and that was uh, a friend gifted it to me Josh and I, my husband, were living at his house, and I needed to paint, and he was like, here, I have this extra piece of canvas, and that's I was awesome. like, that's fine. That's awesome. So. Um, do you feel like your, is your use of reclaimed woods, like, is that intentional in terms of, like, how you want it to look, or is there a deeper story behind that, or what's the, what's the motivation there? I actually don't like painting on canvas. Okay. It's like a texture thing. Sure. And I didn't realize why until maybe a year ago, but I grew up painting on my bedroom walls. My okay. parents, they just let me do whatever. Sure. And so I would do murals all over my bedroom. And you know, like the texture of uh, the wall was hard and a little sure. bit bumpy. Sure. And so the wood kind of emulates maybe what I always knew as far as painting texture. Yeah. And yeah, and then Another aspect of it was just being resourceful because when I started painting again, we didn't have a bunch of money to spend on canvas. Sure. And we had, um, there was this little like salvage shop about a block from our first apartment when we got married. And I started just going there looking around and I found pieces of wood and I was like, I could paint on this sure. instead. Yeah. This is yeah. like a few dollars <laughs> instead of, you know, like a lot more. So part of it is just like, I enjoy it and I enjoy how the texture adds to the feeling of the painting. Yeah. And then I also just uh, was being resourceful when I started painting again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel like the textural element is really a big part of your work, at least from having seen it the last yes. couple days. Yes. It feels like the texture almost adds this 3D dimensional thing to each piece where it's, you're almost taking in like the overall color scheme of a painting, mm. but then you're like kind of following the texture with your eyes. It's really cool. I'm, I'm a huge fan of it. That's awesome. <laughs> um, how long have you been painting? Like, I mean, obviously, basically forever, but yeah. officially painting, I guess. About three and a half years. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Is it something that you feel like, you know, is primarily just for the sake of being able to express yourself? Or is it something that you're also like, ooh, I would love to devote this as like a career side of things? Like, is that... Yeah, well, it is kind of both. Okay. Um, it was always something to express myself. Uh, if I had like, you know, if I was really angry or really happy or really sad, I would just go to my room and paint murals. Sure. So yeah, it's yeah. always expression, but it's definitely like a career path too. Yeah. Like it's yeah. what I love, yeah. visual and physical art. What, so. what was it like committing to that? 
I guess I don't really know if you feel like you have committed to that fully, but committing to that, because I feel like there is a little bit of a stigma, especially around visual art, of picking right. that as a career or trying to make <laughs> that a career, right? So what was that process like? What, like? Was there anything that you felt like was difficult to overcome in yourself in choosing that? or? Yeah. Um, I was really excited because basically I came to it, I told you like a little yesterday, but I had been... When Josh and I first got married, I had been uh, confused about what was next for me. Sure. Like, I didn't know what that was going to look like. I had been doing this adventure guide stuff for the summer. And I was like, oh, I may be working with at-risk youth sure. and doing this kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And I was praying for a while about it. And I was like, okay, Lord, like I want to do, I'm ready. I'm ready for what you have. What is it? Sure. And, uh, and right around that time, I started painting again. Mm. And I remember very clearly, I was working on one of my paintings and I, I think I was like praying and I go, okay, what are, you know, what are we gonna do? What's like the direction? And I, and I just felt like I was like, this, here it is. And I was like, really? Crazy. Wow. <laughs> because, you know, I've been doing it my whole life, but I just never thought of it as like a career path. Sure. Um, so I was surprised, which is kind of funny sure. to me now. It's almost like you find yourself there all of a sudden and it's like did you have a sense of relief because I remember experiencing that at one point in my life where I was kind of like trying to figure it out trying to figure it out trying to figure it out and then you yeah. sort of just stumble into something yes. that makes you come alive and you're like whoa yes you know? <laughs> I would say definitely because I was trying a bunch of stuff I did a little like freelance journalism for street roots okay. briefly yeah, yeah. I worked at like a bunch of nonprofits briefly and startup companies and I was just like trying stuff out yep. and then to feel like okay this is the thing I was like okay what does that mean or at least now I have a boundary I feel like to work within and then I just found myself you know coming more and more alive and it's just been shaping and changing over the last three and a half years cool, cool. that's awesome and I love it yeah <laughs> so now you feel like you create our primarily starting from that personal vantage point of like ooh, I have something I need to get out that's where those things are coming from most of the time? Yeah, I would say it's um, the personal uh, expression. Mm -hmm. And it's also kind of like a bit of a worship time for sure. me. Sure, sure. And so that kind of like close, intimate connection yeah. as well. It's a very, very vulnerable place to be in a sense, to be yeah. creating art, I feel Yeah, like, you know? absolutely, yeah. totally. You're totally sort of just putting yourself out there. You mm -hmm. know? Who knows how people are going to take it or even you're going to feel about it at the end, right? And it's like, yeah, I'm just going to be real with myself in that moment, you know? It's yeah. Like, it's just pretty crazy. That's awesome. Most uh, pieces I finish and I'm like, wow, I love it. And it's not even that I, it's not about the fact that I made it. It's like anyone could have made it. It's sure. just the fact that it exists. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, this is something beautiful. That's how I usually feel. I have one piece, I, but I even liked that one when I did it. Even it was, I was expressing some very negative emotions. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, sure. oh, you know about that piece, but I still like it. Yeah. So. That's cool. That's yeah. really cool. Do you feel like there's a favorite in the cafe right now? Like of the ones we're showing here? Is there <sighs> one that you're like, ooh, mm. that's the one right now. Yeah, I have two. Okay. Um, a Slow Letting Go okay. is the one that I just finished. Yeah. And I... I just love like the shapes, all the circles and the texture, and I was exploring like some new um, materials in it. Okay. And that was really fun. And I just love like the, f the whole feeling. So definitely that one and Jubilee. 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 Yes, it's like lar It's the large gold and blue yeah. one with the big swirl. I feel like that's the most. Not that there's like a you know value in terms of oh this one is like the coolest one right because right. that's all in the eyes of the beholder but I think it's the one that right because we've kind of placed it right in the middle of the the show and so yes. it feels like as you're walking in you're like whoa <laughs> there, it there it is you know it's like it's kind of the pinnacle of the yes. of the little wall right there it's really cool I love that that was wow. such a fun piece to make that's awesome and it's some of my favorite colors so sure. I'm drawn particularly to it for that reason so something like Jubilee how long is that process is that a couple hours is it a couple days is that generally I think that one was maybe like a few weeks, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know, it's not like I'm intensely painting on it every hour of every day that I'm in my studio during the two weeks. Right. 
but like when I'm in it, I'm in it. And then I might take breaks and do other things and might like skip a few days and do other things. But I think that was like a few weeks. Okay. okay. Cool. Yeah. That's awesome. And that was the first one I was exploring um, molding paste with. So that okay. one's got like all this texture. Yeah. And that was the first one to get texture, which okay. was in that specific way, which okay. was fun. Interesting. Yeah. Cool. Do you have a certain like, um, I guess, material that you enjoy working with the most? Or is it just, I mean, I guess it's because it's all expression, it's kind of like in that moment what, yeah. what is feeling like it's appropriate, I guess, but. Um, I like the molding paste a lot. Okay. It's kind of like, still a little sticky. It dries harder so you get that next nice like 3D texture. Yeah. And you just mix the paint in with it and it like lightens it just a little bit. But I like how that one sticks and you can kind of build it up, which is fun in layers. Yeah. Um, and then recently I've been a fan of the crackle paste, yeah. which is like similar, but then kind of cracks and fun patterns when it dries. Crazy. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm so excited for you all to see it. Um, it is an incredible show. We're so excited to have it in our space. Um, I feel like it's a real good, um, it's sort of like so appropriate for the moment that we're in, mm. at least for me. Um, and a lot of our team have felt the same way about just how life-giving mm -hmm. it is to have that much color around us right oh. now. Um, especially going into the fall and the winter, for a lot of us, it's kind of this like, oh, it's gray and it's raining yeah. and <laughs> coffee is yeah. the only hope I have, you know? And then <laughs> you walk into a space that has all this color around you and it's just like really encouraging and life-giving. So oh. thank you for sharing that with us. Yeah, I'm so, so excited glad. Doing that. that makes me um, happy. But yeah, so we'll have it up for the next two months. Definitely come through and check it out. We're so excited. <laughs> Mariah, thanks for, thanks for partnering with us, with yeah. us and being willing and doing this. It's really awesome. Thanks for having me. I'm very yeah. excited. Yay. <laughs>